Hey everybody, Shabu here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use output in Roblox. So the first thing I want to do is go to view at the top here, open up explorer and properties, and then open up output right here. Now you should see the output somewhere. And you can use output to debug and you can use output to debug errors. And it's super important for that. Because if you don't use output, you'll probably likely never find most of the errors. So now I'm gonna get an example script. So I'm gonna go to explorer and I'm gonna go to server script service. I'm gonna right click it, insert object, and then just insert a script. I'm gonna get rid of the print. Now I'm just gonna start writing code. Like I'm gonna make a variable, like local part equals workspace.part. I mean, workspace.base plate because we have a base plate. And then let's say I wanted to set its color after waiting like five seconds. So I'm going to wait six seconds. And then I'm going to change its color to like red. So now this should, this should work. But let's say I made like a typo or something. So I'm going to put like part.color instead of part.color. And then I'm going to press play. And then I'm going to wait a bit for the base plate to change color. But instead of it changing color, we actually got an error in the output down here. So you can see that it says that there is an error. Color is Colo is not a valid member of part. So once you stop the game, it'll stay there. And you can go to the script and try to find the error. You can also click it and it should bring you to it if you're in the script. Now every error usually has text like this telling you what the issue is. So as you can see, it says Colo is not a valid member of part. Because what we're doing here is changing the color to red. But since we spelt it wrong, it's looking for something called this, but that's not a thing. Because if I go to the base plate here, and in properties, you can see it says color. And there is no property or member. Because the reason it says member and not like property is because it's probably guessing that you're looking for something inside of the object, like this texture here, because it's not a valid property. So what you do here is go to the line. You would figure out what you did wrong here. So I did like a typo. So I'll just, re I'll just correct that. And then now if I press play here, it'll work. And the base plate is gonna turn red. And now we have a super red base plate. Now let's say if there's something wrong with your script, but, you, but it didn't make an error. So I'm gonna make another example real quick. I'm gonna make like a loop. That changes the colors from blue to red. So part.color is color.new. I'll put blue and then I'll put red. So what I'm trying to do here is make the color go to blue and then red over and over. Now if I press play here, you'll be able to see that it's only blue and it doesn't ever turn red. Now we can use output to figure out what's going on here. Because that's not what we wanted to do. So there's a very handy tool you can use called print. And whenever you print something, like I'm gonna make it print start at the start of the script. Whenever you print something, it shows up in the output. And you can use this to debug errors and figure out what's going on with your script that make it, that's making it not do what it's meant to do. So I'm gonna put a print at the start of the blue and at the start of the red. So every time it should turn red, it's going to print this. And every time it turns blue, it's gonna print this. So let's press play and let's look in the output. So it says blue, that's correct. And then it printed red, but it instantly printed blue after. So what we can get from that, based off of what we put in our script, is that it's not giving enough time to show the red because blue is coming straight after, there's no wait before the next blue. So we'll just put wait five seconds right there, and that'll be able to fix it. So we can wait five seconds, and then now it's red, and then we wait five seconds again, and then it's gonna be blue. Some other things like print that you can use, error. Now whenever you call this, it'll basically just completely stop the script, which is why if you put this like before, like if you change it to blue, it'll show this little line here and it'll help and when you hover over it it'll say it's unreachable code 
because whenever there's an error, it stops the script entirely. It doesn't just keep going. So the script is trying to tell you that. But yeah, if I just put that, it's going to say an error and it's going to say blue. So you can use that to make little like fake errors. It can help debug sometimes. Now warn is basically the same as print, except it acts like a warning and it makes the text yellow or orange instead of the regular print color which can help you like make a difference between like if I printed the same thing twice the other one would be orange and it also just makes more sense if you needed to like make a warning if something happens that wasn't expected now I'm gonna get another example this is gonna be the last one so as you can see here I made a function that is meant to damage the player whenever they touch it, the base plate so it's going to get rid of two of their HP every time they touch the base plate. So I'm going to press play here, and I'm going to touch the base plate. And as you can see, I'm not taking any damage or anything. So the script isn't working. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to try to figure out what the problem with the script is. There's no errors, so I didn't make like any typos or anything like that. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is figure out why this code isn't running. Or doing what it's meant to do. So what I usually do here, in like the case of like a function, is I'll put A, and then I'll print the next letter after every if statement to see where it's stopping or if it's even like starting in the first place. So I would press play here. And when I touch the base plate, we can see it's printing A, but it's not printing B. So that's mean it's not removing health from anything. It's just not getting past this point here. Now let's look at the if statement. So if humanoid and its health is greater than zero. Okay, that makes sense. It's just checking if there's a humanoid and if its health is greater than zero. Now we might want to check what the humanoid variable is. So print humanoid, since you can print objects using this too. So like if there isn't a humanoid, it'll print like nil, which means nothing. Or it would print humanoid, which is the object. So I'm going to step on the base plate, and as you can see, it's printing A and then nil. That means this humanoid variable doesn't have anything in it, so it's not actually finding a humanoid. But why would that be? Well, let's look closer to the variable. So whenever an, uh, whenever an object touches the base plate, it's checking inside of the object for a humanoid. So I'm going to press play here, and let's see how that, how that would work out. So we got a humanoid touching the base plate. It would be detecting like a foot or something. Now if we look inside of here, there's no humanoid. That's because the humanoid is inside of the parent of the part. So that has to be the issue. So I'm going to press stop here. Now we can fix this because we know we should be looking inside of the parent of the part for the humanoid. And now this script should be working. And as you apparently cannot see because it's not showing my health bar for some reason, but as you can see here in properties, I am taking damage from this. I have no idea why the health bar isn't showing. And that's how you debug errors in Roblox using output. I hope this help you, helps a lot because I see a lot of comments with like trouble with like typos and stuff. So make sure you're using errors if anything's going on with like your scripts. Make sure to slap the like button and punch the subscribe button. Peace.